Vittorio, I strongly recommend you to stop this. I know the video clips at that page. The first video is 17 seconds. The second video is 24 seconds long. Apparently, they are taken from a much longer interview. This is why I suspected Kroner's statements might have been taken out of context. I mailed to Alfred Kroner and received that very mail Phil read in his video. You can mail to him yourself. If you don't find his web page at the Gutenberg University in Mainz, I can send you the link. I have some questions for you. Why did you not see the need to check the citations? Didn't you wonder why you find Kroner's citations on tons of Islamic websites but only these short phrases? Why did nobody bother to make the whole interview available? Maybe to give a false impression about Kroner's position concerning the miracles in the Quran? When you finally found the video, weren't you surprised that Kroner looks so much younger than on today's pictures? Also, the video quality and his clothing look very 70s style. The video is nearly 30 years old. If Kroner, a well-known geologist, certifies the claim of miracles in the Quran, why did nobody try to get him for a discussion on TV or a lecture tour? Why is there no book, not one article by Kroner on this topic? Why can no Islamic website present one statement that is younger than this? Kroner himself wrote that he had received hundreds of mails concerning those citations. He wrote that standardized mail that Phil read and sent it for years to all the people asking about this interview. Do you really think that the message did not get to the Islamic websites that try to promote Islam by misusing Kroner statements? Do you think that none of these sites did try to confirm Kroner's citations? If they do not check their claims, what does this tell about the quality of the information you get there? If they did check their information, but did not bother to correct their websites, what does that tell you about the information you get there? I have learned that a lot of the Muslims on YouTube are overcredulous when it comes to miracles of the Quran. If these people stumble upon a website that claims miraculous findings, there will quite soon be a video about it on YouTube. Please check your information twice before making a video. You may have a look at websites of skeptics or atheists dealing with those miracles, but if you think we are all liars, have filthy minds or something like that, and I read a lot of statements like this by now. You will also find Muslim websites debunking those claims. I admit these are outnumbered by the sites that present Krona as a, as a witness for the miraculous Quran. But still, you can find some.